this is a uh, another example on Fourier uh, series. Uh, I will recommend watching the um, the first one, the introduction. <coughs> I've solved a, a problem there, um, so I'm going to try to keep this one as short as possible and get straight to the point. So I may skip a few steps here and there. All right. So concept is the same. Uh, calculating uh, your components your coefficients a sub 0, a sub n, and a, I mean b sub n. So first a sub n, I mean a sub 0, is equal to 2 over 2 pi. 2 pi is uh, uh, the period, so it'll be 1 over pi. And the integral goes from uh, this interval right here, minus pi to pi. minus pi pi f of x is equal to x so I'm just taking uh, the integral of x dx alright so this would be 1 over pi x squared over 2 the entire derivative of x all from minus pi to pi so this would be 1 over pi pi squared over 2 minus minus pi squared would be pi squared so this would be just pi squared over 2 and the whole thing would be equal to 0 so you have a sub 0 let's put that over here in the corner a sub 0 is equal to 0 now let's go ahead and uh, calculate um, a sub n. Now in this exam setting you may not have time right, to integrate and do integration by parts and because here we're going to be multiplying a we're going to be multiplying x by cosine of nx so you can tell already that uh, integration by part will be part of it so that's susceptible to mistakes and all and that's the reason why shortcuts occur and I told you earlier in the first video that you have to know integration by parts integration period but mostly integration by parts uh, your odd and even function so if you recognize here in this case that um, f of x is equal to x x is actually um, this is actually an odd function right so x is an odd function so if f of x is odd then your a subcomponent uh, a sub n is equal to zero and if f of x is even uh, b sub n is equal to zero so recognizing that you don't you don't even have to calculate a sub n because that'll be equal to zero because f of x here is is an odd function so that can save you a few minutes but I'm gonna still solve that uh, just to kind of show you but that's a shortcut you know that you can take advantage of oops I'm sorry alright so let's go ahead and do a sub n so a sub n here is also 1 over pi integrating between minus pi to pi of x cosine of n x dx so here we're multiplying two functions um, x and then cosine of nx so integration by part so if you recall integration by part it's uh, uh, u dv um, I think I have that open somewhere uh, never mind but um, it's uv uh, minus vdu so if we set um, u as u as x um, and dv as a cosine function because if you set your dv as x then you'll be dealing with square you know x squared or whatever for the entire derivative so you always want to check your dv as the easiest uh, to uh, integrate so your dv would be um, um, uh, 
your dv here in this case would be uh, cosine nx and as such uh, v would be uh, 1 over n sine nx so therefore um, your this would be uh, uv minus over your limits VDU. So this is just a side note for for you to remember um, integration by part. So let's uh, keep going. Uh, 1 over pi. So this would be then uh, U times V. So X times uh, 1 over N sine X. So this would be u v so x. Uh, v is one over n. So this is going to be s. I mean sine n x. Uh, I mean I could sh uh, skip these, um, but I just want to show you. So this video may be a little longer as well. I don't like long videos, but sometimes it's needed to show all the details. Sine n x um, over n. Right. This is over here. And this across minus pi over pi, All right? Minus v du v is this, and du would be the derivative of x, which is just one. So you can just take the integration of minus pi pi uh, v du. So this is sine n x. Ooh, I forgot that. Uh, I'll put xn here, which is the same thing as nx anyway. So that over over n dx. So I can erase this um, uh, integration by part here. All right, so let's keep going. So th from here on, it's just a matter of... Um, it's just a matter of integration. Oh, I'm sorry. I was trying to. Go up. All right. OK, so a sub n. So from here on, it's just a matter of um, uh, simplifying and just working out your um, your math. So we have one over pi, uh, one over pi. So we can take out the one over n here because that's a um, that's a constant. So we have one over n. And then we have, uh, so 1 over n, pi. So for the pi, it's the x, right? So so we have pi sine n pi, right? So you replace x by pi. You, we already took out the 1 minus, 1 over n uh, minus. So replace pi by x, so this is going to be a minus pi here. This will be long. So you can see how knowing your odd and even function actually can help because I'm spending how long now uh, trying to calculate this when I know already that a sub n is zero, but still. So n, oh, minus, there's a minus sign here. Yes, there's a minus sign. Uh, n pi and you can check my work too uh, just so I don't make stupid mistakes alright so so this is done this part right here let me use a different color let me play with colors today so this this part is the, this one right here so now I'm integrating this uh, this is not a uh, this is just a regular regular um, integration so 1 over n 
minus pi um, so let me just do it right away I don't have to so to save us some time a little bit all right so integrating this would give us so if you take the 1 over n out you'll have an entire derivative of this would be um, would be uh, cosine correct uh, yes so it would be minus 1 over n cosine of nx also from minus pi to pi correct uh, because if you take the derivative of this it will be they will go yeah 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 so that's correct alright so moving on um, let's uh, use uh, let's go back to our yellow color so a sub n here would be 1 over pi um, so you have here pi sine n pi and this is a, a minus also because this is a positive plus with this minus sign coming out that will give you 0 minus 0 so this is 1 over n 0 this is also 0. this is a uh, right so so this is 0 right yeah so this is 0 and then you have um, minus 1 over n um, multiply by multiply by 0 right because sine n pi is it's 0 anyway um, Let me use my calculator here. Just just give me one second. Yes, that's also zero and minus pi. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, so a sub n here is equal to zero because this time zero is zero and that's zero. So I've spent like how long uh, now trying to prove that a sub n is equal to zero when I could recognize that f of x is <clears throat> is is an odd function already. Uh, recognizing that I could have uh, easily um, uh, I could have easily get the fact that um, a sub n is equal to zero. So. I'm gonna stop here because I don't like long videos so just to kind of give you uh, you know I just wanted to show you a little bit because um, it's taking longer than I wanted so so you do the same thing for um, a sub n uh, so I mean for b sub n so I've done it and b sub n came out to be uh, minus 2 over n so check it out and see if you if we come up with the same answer and from here it's you know it's the same thing again just like the previous example so you get your a sub 0 you get your uh, uh, you get your a sub 0 and a sub n uh, just plug it once again and uh, over here with the sum here a sub n is 0, a 0, a sub 0 is also 0, so the only thing is um, your b sub n. And b sub n, same thing, you know, integration by part, etc. So I don't want to take too long to just kind of show you 
integration by part because this video is not really is not about integration by parts at all it's about Fourier and how to set it up so once you understand um, that you need to calculate these coefficients then you're good so that's that's really the essential of, of this video so this this was just uh, to kind of show you how to do it and once you're done with that um, you know just put it together if if n is is odd do you have what function do you have if n is even what do you have and then put it together as a sum just like the previous example so let me know you can do it on your own um, uh, you can do uh, integration by part for b sub n and let me know if you actually get the same answer if we get the same answer alright thank you